Hi everyone, this is Paula and I'm just here to share with you guys um this is an old book that I have that I had bought before and it's one of those address books that has like the labels for like the addresses. This was like a planner all together in one and I decided to use this as um my junk slash art journal and I just added just a bunch of paper collages nothing fancy just started to do like backgrounds so I'm gonna share this you guys with you I had started this um quite a while ago a couple of months so in the front this how uh, you can see like the glossiness of this this is actually um I match podge before I put the match podge I added some of these just random colors of this Adirondack. These are the alcohol inks. So I just added a bunch of those. And then I kind of smushed it. I just I just wanted to be really messy. And that's one of the things I love about working with art journals or junk journals is you have no boundaries as to what you can do or cannot do. And I just love, you know just adding and also the texture if you guys can see I just ran like a pencil over it like this to create that texture hopefully you guys can pick that up so I'm just gonna flip quickly and just show you some of the stuff that I that I did and nothing is perfect I just you know just collaged mainly and what I did here hopefully you guys can see this what I did to this page was I just cut up a whole bunch of strips of pieces of paper. So I just cut it up. I stuck them on there. And then after I just added all those pieces of paper, you know, just cut them up, put them, just threw them there. I just added some words, inspire some. This is um his, my hubby's um year of birth, 83, and mine is 86. I put his birthday here. I put 2012, which what I did this a while back, so it was at the beginning of the year. And I just added some words, special, family, some hearts. Um, this is my, this is the day actually that I did this was June 3rd. This was actually on my birthday. June 3rd, um, 2012, as you can see. Here I put Paula, and his name is Bebo, but I call him Obi, like, just as like a, cute little name I don't know if you guys but I just added that put journal art love up here and up here I put per Perla is my dog's name Perla in Spanish means pearl in English that's my dog's name and this is his birthday and my birthday again so um in any particular way I just added you know a bunch of papers pieces of paper so, and here all I did was I threw in, I think it was pink and white, and I just smushed it all together with um what I use to mix the paints and all of that is, hopefully I can find it. It's just an old card, an old debit card that you need, that you don't need, sorry. So I just used this one, just a wellness card that I have a bunch of those. So I just put on the paint, I just, you know, spattered, and whatever was left from the card, I just smeared onto the next page. And like that, so I'm just gonna flip, try to um flip through this. And here, what I do is I just add borders, just a pieces of colorful paper that I have lying around magazines. And <clears throat> here I put I love art with a passion. And then here I just put yes I do. And this, in no particular way here, I had wrote about something, and at the time it wasn't. I was feeling depressed or, you know, those times, so I just threw a whole bunch of inks kind of to, like, blend it. Here I added some, some jokes that I had a while back here. And then I added watch tape, not watch tape, um, regular, um, tape, the yellow tape, masking tape, I think it is. And again, I added, like, the border... Here is another page. This is actually this actually came. This is real. So, um, when me and my hubby were, were walking, he just picked this up from the ground because it was a pretty color. 
So I just saved it. I put it in between some textbooks and it kind of flattened out like that. And I like it because it looks kind of like a Christmas tree. So I added that. I used a lot of um, pastels and just a bunch of random, you know, stuff just to give it color. And nothing in particular. Here I cannot draw, so I just kind of practicing as I go. Here, these are some some of these um newspaper cutouts that I like. Some of the some of the jokes. So some of the pages are sticky. So here's another one. I like this page. This one is I was eating Cool Whip at the time, so I took out. The tab of the cool whip and I just stuck it there and I added a whole bunch of doodling and just a bunch of stuff here is when I got my new phone virgin mobile phone and I just put it there just their card here I added some more of this and I actually like this because it says she's saying to him you've been a blob all day how about helping out the round how about helping out around the house a little and then the little boy is saying, okay, I'll make sure your flower garden gets watered. And then he says, the front and the back lawn as well. That enough? He's sending her. And then she says, maybe on some other day. So it's like raining here. And then he says, does our driveway need need rinsing? I can be responsible for that too. So <laughs> I found that real funny. And just here, this room, I put here how it reminds me. Of when I was little and my parents used to send me to do something and <laughs> I just thought that was cute and I just put it there and that's the date. I sometimes like to date, you know, the time. So that was this year, March 30th. Here's some more paper. This is just um cutouts. I just do random stuff cutouts from like magazines, the eyes that I like, some of the mouth, the color lipstick. Um here is just doodling. And here, these are just hearts that I cut out from regular um notebook, not notebook, um, textbook paper. So what I do is I color it in with chalks, and then I just cut them out and stuck them there. This other page, the same thing, and this is where I used to live. And here, I just added, this is like a, this just came from one of those envelopes that you get. So I just wrote there. Nothing fancy, you know, just doing whatever comes to mind and just letting go of, like, you know, things just just randomly. Here I added this card here, and then I wrote about it, and here I added that other card. I just stuck it down, and then this flips over, and I have one of my um stencils. I just laid it on top, and I just colored her in a little like that. So it's like that. Here I did the same thing. Here I wrote him a little note. This is from the computer. I just printed it out and I wrote about it. Over here I kind of did the same thing. Hopefully you guys can see this. So I just put, I just wrote, you know, stuck tags. This is from another stuff and see if I can open this up and what I would do is because if it's this is like flimsy paper what I do is I actually stick two or three papers down together with Mod Podge then here it says understated elegant chic and classy and then I put you so here's another one of those just layering a whole bunch of colors and different stencils here the same thing again here I wrote a trip to the moon I wrote I just wrote a random question and I talked about it here and I just stuck that there this is another stencil and here I I just wrote so I made that into a little flap and here this is actually um tissue paper I just added a bunch of little dots of the, um, let me see, I keep forgetting what it's called, of the Adirondack. I just added dots. I just folded it. I just added dots like this, and then I just stuck it there. So, 
I'm going to stop here so I can make the other part. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.